Well, uh, Firebat here is producing a lot of Firebats, and that means less Marines out in the field. So I think Amulus build is definitely going to work in his favor here. These Firebats are going to take care of the Zerglings, so I think Yellow needs to put up more Sunkins than just one. You see, he did uh, pick off one of those Firebats, and he's still trying to take out um, this command center down here. Oh, not a very good run by there. Those Firebats are very, very, very good at taking out Zerglings, so I think Yellow needs to be careful here. He needs to um, choose his battles wisely here. And turrets are coming up, so it looks like Firebat here is going to um, protect his main, and he's getting a lot of nicely placed turrets here. So it's going to be very, very difficult for Yellow to sneak in. Oh, here come the Mutilus. A lot of Mutilus coming out here, so wow, this is before the turrets are even up, so if Yellow can some... Oh, a lot of turrets there. It looks like he is if Yellow had gone past those turrets, I think he would, would have done a lot of damage. BC is a little bit cautious there, seeing the two turrets there, and he backs off. And it looks like uh, Yellow's uh, pushing the front here. I think there's only there's two turrets there at the natural expansion. I think Yellow needs to be careful here. Uh, Marines can do a lot of damage to these Mutilus. He's letting uh, Mutilus get hurt a lot here. I see one Mutilus going down. Oh, he's going in with the Zerglings at the same time, kind of a dual prong attack, but all of his Zerglings go down there uh, by Firebats, I'm sure. Oh, there isn't any Firebats down there. Looks like Yellow has done a good job picking out the Firebats. And now Yellow trying to uh, uh, take down an SUV, not too successful there. And Yellow is going somewhat into macro mode here. I don't think he has his third base up yet. But um, now he has Mutilus tech up, so he knows that Firebat here is going to be building turrets all over the place. It's going to be very important for him to find a way to bypass that by running by Zerglings or something like that. And here comes the Hydralis Den, so it looks like we're going to see a Lurker switch here. And he's going to try to take Firebat Hero off guard with these Lurkers and maybe push into that natural expansion. You see that natural expansion is not, I wouldn't say it's very well um, protected by Firebat Hero right now. He's got a few Marines here. Those Marines are in a weird position. I think if Yellow came from behind, it'd be uh, a lot of SCV kills. You see Yellow is going in here now with uh, Zerglings. Not very many Zerglings, though. And Yellow losing more Mutilus. So, oh, that's painful to watch all those Mutilus going down. Um, um, you think uh, Lurkers would work better for Yellow in this situation, Ranchin? Well, at the moment, Firebat Hero only has turrets and uh, comset to scan, and you really need science vessels to be really effective against lurkers. Um, I think if uh, Yarnak really uh, mixed up, there you go, science facility going up, just as I think that. But yeah, I think if Yellow or Yarnak uh, really manages to mix up tech well, just maybe uh, mix up lurkers with other units, like Mutilus, for instance, he should be able to pull in a quick advantage because I've seen it used very successfully in, conjec in conjunction, conjecture, something. Uh, Mutalisks are flying around trying to do whatever damage they can and lurkers, if pushed incorrectly, will be able to uh, very well support those Mutalisks. I don't think he should go for full out tech switch. I think that would actually be a mistake. Uh, I think that Firebat Hero would be able to counter that pretty quickly. He has tanks out at this point and mind you he doesn't have science facilities out yet but they will be on the way soon so I think he should keep the spire up. If not uh, completely <clears throat> switch to lurkers then at least keep up Scourge definitely. And Queen's Nest now going down so you're not actually thinking of going for quick tech uh, at this point. Uh, going probably for uh, defilers to supplement those lurkers. This is actually a good idea, although I'm afraid he might be overextending himself a little bit. Mew is flying in again, trying to take down something there, trying to go down for the supply, doing some damage, uh, being met by a couple of marines that he quickly takes down. Goes for aiming for the turret sound. The turret is going to go down. And while he's in there, he sees the science facility. <laughs> going to know what that spells for him. Irradiate is bad. One science facility, <laughs> one uh, supply depot that was on the way there. Going up there, uh, Mutalisks flying in again, being forced to move back, but trying to take down as many Marines as he can on the way. Mutalisks, oh man, so many Mutalisks taking damage. I mean, that Mutalisk grouping has lost so many Mutalisks at this point. It was huge before, now it's so small. Oh man, Yarnex is slowly losing any advantage or equality in the match. He might have had lurkers are now ready, but I really, I really have to see what he's going to do here at this point. Hive is going up. Um, looks like Firebat Hero is getting ready to move out, so it's going to be up to Yellow to protect that new expansion over there at the 3 o'clock base. 
So if he can protect that, he might actually be in a good position. He, he put all of his lurkers over there that I saw. I'm not sure where his lurkers are right now. It looks like they're hanging down, actually, at the 6 o'clock position. He's going to try to be aggressive with them and keep Firebat Hero from moving out. I think that is the best course of action right now. Keep Firebat Hero from moving out and taking out that 3 o'clock base because I'm sure Firebat Hero knows about that 3 o'clock by now. If he doesn't, he's going to find out about it soon enough. He's sending out SCV the scout. That SCV had a short, painful life. And, uh, yeah, looks like Firebat Hero is definitely ready to move out. He has a couple of uh, science vessels out. So he's not going to have any problem with these lurkers, especially with tanks there to siege and take them out. He's moving up. There are lurkers all over the place here. Yellow is just trying to stall Firebat Hero for a while while he gets up more bases. Uh, Zerg players need a lot of bases to uh, get their economy really up and going. And uh, I'm not sure what Yellow is up to there. Threw in some Zerglings. I think Yellow has been throwing away a bit too many units in this battle. Oh, the Irradiate. And see if Yellow can get all that ton of Mutilus going out there. Man, uh, he wasn't able to pull out the infected Mutilus there, and he lost a ton of Mutilus there. He's been us losing a lot of Mutilus in this battle so far. And it looks like uh, Yellow is going in now, going to try to take out that natural expansion while Firebat Hero is trying to get out here. A lot of lurkers in here, so it looks like Firebat Hero is going to have to lift that command center and get out of here. He's bringing back his troops, but uh, I'm not sure if he thinks he can defend this base or what. He's not lifting that command center yet. He's, in fact, he's building a SCV from it. I think uh, Firebat here is panicking a little bit at this point because this is his second only mining base. He really needs this base, and Yellow is not letting him move out right now. He still has lurkers out there, and he's moving lings all over the place. Ooh, this is looking scary for Firebat Hero. He's lifted that command center, but the command center is going to burn down if he can't repair it. And Nidus Canal out for Yellow, so I think Yellow has swung this game into his favor now. He's protected that uh, 3 o'clock base, and he's kept Firebat Hero from moving up. And this, is <laughs> this is looking bad for Firebat Hero right now, if Firebat Hero can't get a lot of um, army damage done here. Since the Nidus Canal is out, um, oh, and Defilers are out, and another base going up, Yellow definitely has an advantage in this game. Yeah, look forward to seeing what Firebat Hero tries to counter is. He's just going to see doing what he does here, move out with those science vessels, taking down a bunch of lurkers, just going to try to move out, do some damage, as you said, very necessary at this point. But, um, yeah, there, he did lose one science, uh, science vessel, but now he's trying to keep this one alive, and he's doing it pretty well. No more... Uh, Mutilus out there, <laughs> defensive matrix tanks, and Scourge moving in, gotta be very careful, one Scourge does hit, but the other gets taken out of the Marines, Zerg is moving in, Dark Swarm, nice Dark Swarms there by, by Yellow, really good stuff going on there, that one of the tanks does manage to survive, the other one gets blown up, however, so yeah, Yarnak doing his best to keep him off him, himself here, and that's actually very good strategy. Dark Swarm uh, used with all of his forces will be good. He has to be very careful, though, not to let Firebat Hero moving uh, siege the Dark Swarms and uh, detect his lurkers. And he also has to very carefully protect his Defiler, which is not doing right there. Defiler almost taking that. Dex get out for one Dark Swarm before it goes down. Decent position, Dark Swarm. The lurkers and Zergling is going to get up right under it. Uh, one vulnerable base, though, there at near the 3 o'clock that is going to be attacked right here. Probably going to get taken out unless it gets reinforced very time soon. Uh, lurker eggs at the ready. Going to get attacked. Going to get moved in right here. Oh, man. Yarnak. Oh, lurkers just pop in just in time. Dark Swarm golfs right there. Makes fire bat. Hero run away, bunch of Zerglings, another nice Dark Swarm makes Firebat Hero run away again. But that 3 o'clock expansion, one of them is going to get taken down. And I think he's probably going to move in with those Marines inside the other 3 o'clock expansion. See if he can take that down. Don't know if he has enough, but the Dice Canal is up there. Seconds on the way. 